There is a God. What? There is a God. And if you're bad, you go to hell. I bet you you haven't clicked a video faster in your life on my channel than this video title. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm clickbaiting the living shit out of it. The reason being, so many people just comment these questions, send me these questions, and I don't know why it is important for you guys to know, but I think, and that's something I've been saying the entire time on my channel, to be honest, since I started YouTube, is that... Um, for my channel to grow and for the content that I make, it doesn't matter where I'm from, what religion I have, um, and what skin color or whatever, you know, all those things don't matter for the type of content I make. You either like my content or you don't. And it's, you know, it, it, is it gonna change your opinion on my content if you know that I'm a certain type of religion or if I have a certain type of, of skin color? You know, that's the reason why I've always been saying it's not relevant for you to know. I'm not telling people because it's not relevant. So if you clicked on this video and you're thinking I'm gonna reveal you that Oh, I, I'm an Orthodox Christian. I'm a Catholic Christian. I'm a Jew. I'm a whatever religion. No, sorry. You're not getting that answer. But I'm glad I get your attention. And the reason why is because I do have a video which does explain really well how I think about religion. Um, most of it. Not all of it, but most of it. This will give you a good good understanding with which kind of direction I think. I do not believe that you need a book, any religion, or anything regarding that to be a good person. I don't believe that you will be punished if you don't believe in any religion and you are a good person. Um, being a good person is something that I personally don't need a book for, don't need a religion for. It's something that you were either born with or taught by your parents. So doing good is something I recommend everyone doing and not doing bad, of course. And if you do that, you should be safe on all sides. Doesn't matter if you're a believer or not. And that's kind of the thing that, you know, I've been doing most of my life. So I having various religious in my family and, and various, you know, levels of people who are religious. So really extreme ones, mediocre ones, not, and then the, the, I call them the fake ones. Um, but yeah, let's take a look on the video that I found today about religion. And um, this will give you a proper understanding because I agree with a lot, a lot of things said in this video. It's by Ricky Gervais. Ricky Gervais or Ger Gervais? No, it's, it's Gervais, I think it is. Um, the video is called Destroy Lig Destroys Religion, but it's not the point of the video. Someone gave it a title, but I don't think that's the point of the video. I think um, religion's greatest trick wasn't convincing some people that there was a God who was all-powerful. Um, it was convincing everyone else that you couldn't ridicule the idea. Deep one. Deep one. It's when you get them. I think they'd be more atheists and less faithful if you weren't allowed to teach anything, you weren't allowed to mention any gods or any beliefs or atheism, right, until they were 20. Very good point. I think we see a different pattern. The human brain, when it's, when it's young, is a sponge. It has to be. It has to take in all the information. It has to trust its parents, its elders, to survive. Uh, without question, don't touch the fire. Why not? Don't go near the cloak. Don't go near the wolf. Don't touch that spider with a red belt. Don't touch that. Why not? Just don't. There is a God. What? There is a God. And if you're bad, you go to hell. OK? And if that's constantly confirmed, like all the other things, wolves eat you, black widows kill you, fires burn you, if it's given that same level of credence and truth, you're never going to get over it. It's going to be a... This is exactly my point. I, I love the way he brings this information. What if you could not, or did not, was not taught religion or anything regarding religion until you're 20? No contact with it whatsoever. How many religious people would there be? 
people are getting influenced from a young age with religion. Can be religion, but you, you've I have seen in especially in Bosnia and Herzegovina different influences, not only religion but also hatred towards other nationalities. No kid, no baby is born with a religion, with hate, or prejudgments. They are all formed and created by people surrounding them throughout the years to come. A lot harder to undo that. I think the myths came up, maybe, you know, often as a stopgap to, to knowledge until we find out more. You know, the earth is flat, and now we've proved now, okay, the earth's not flat, we were wrong, okay? But that's not personal. You don't take that personally. It doesn't affect you. It doesn't affect your afterlife, you know? And so they often want to hold on to, to that, right? But only because of the way they've been conditioned. We know it's, it's fun to tell children there's a Santa Claus and there's, there's fairies at the bottom of the garden and all these cute things. It's cute till they're seven or eight. If they're th 34, it's a bit embarrassing socially. This is my son. What's he doing? He's looking for fairies. Is he? OK, we better leave. If you're born in India, you're probably a Hindu. If you're born in America, you're probably a Christian. If you're born in Pakistan, you're probably a Muslim. That's a coincidence, isn't it? That you're always born into the right God. Always. Isn't that lucky? Being born into the right God, exactly. Uh, fun fact, there's over, um, from all the religious and all the beliefs in the world, there's 3,000 something gods, according all, to all the books and stuff. So imagine, you're being a Christian, there's 2,999 other gods you're disagreeing with. You, you get my point, and I, I think you're getting the point he's going to with this video as well. I was born under the right God. All those others are going to hell. But I was born into the right religion. I'm going to heaven. It's strange that we, we hold on to these sort of medieval beliefs. You know, where did the universe come from? God made it. Which doesn't solve the problem for me. Because we straight away say, well, who made God? And if they say, well, he's always been around. Well, let's just say the universe has then. Let's just cut out the middleman. It saves time. Hmm. We're all born atheists, you know, and then that gets changed or enhanced. I mean, there shouldn't even be a word for atheism. It shouldn't exist. You shouldn't need it. There's not a word for not believing in fairies, you know? And if people didn't keep inventing these weird, impossible deities, we wouldn't have to go around denying them. Yep. It's a matter of degrees. If you go around um, feeling good because whatever life throws at you, it'll all be okay in heaven, that's great. Doesn't affect anyone. Fine. Um, if you pray that you'll do well at work and then you try hard and do well at work and you believe it was the praying, fine. You know, we, we know it wasn't. We know the praying was irrelevant. We know praying without actually doing anything doesn't do anything. Praying and then working towards something. Praying to me is like making a list. That, that's all it does. It, it may even motivate you. It may even, you know, it's getting your thoughts clear. Thinking there's someone hearing you and changing stuff, that's something else. But again, it's still not harmful. But, but if you start doing crazy stuff, because God's telling you to, that affects me. I've got, to, I've got to stop you there. Crusades, suicide attacks, even sects with extremist beliefs from all the religions, um, doing human sacrifices and that kind of stuff. It can go really, really bad. And if someone goes around saying there is a God and bad people go to hell, fine, it doesn't affect me. If they go on saying there is a God and bad people go to hell, I'm going to help God send them to hell by stoning them to death 
Whoa, he doesn't need your help. He's all powerful. Chill out. And that's a thing people forget. They start adding things. They start giving it their own interpretation. Um, their brains just start manipulating information in a way that they see fit for themselves instead of just looking to plain facts. And that's something that annoys me a lot, not only when it comes to religion, but just in general. God's got this one. I think it's very important you challenge your own beliefs. I mean, I mean that's what, that's what science does, really. It doesn't constantly try and prove itself right. It follows the evidence, whatever that is. In fact, it tries to prove itself wrong. It doesn't sulk. When science thinks something and then it discovers it was wrong, it doesn't sulk because it found that out too. This is it's a question I often get, that people say, well, you're an atheist, you know, you're closed-minded. Well, no, I'm not. You know, that, that's a strange thing to say. I think the opposite is true. I'm going to always follow the evidence, whatever that is. And they say things like, if someone proved to you God existed, would you believe? Well, of course I would, by definition. In fact, it would be the greatest scientific discovery of all time. Scientists would celebrate. They'd run round. At the moment, we have no evidence for the existence of any God or anything supernatural. Never have. Possibly never will. But who knows? Um, we're, we're across that bridge and we come to it. When someone f puts forward a, a jar of God, we test it for its godiness. And if we find there's anything godly in it, we we write it down. I think that's enough for this video. I think um, I'll put the original video in the link in the description down below. But I think you guys are understanding the way he is setting it up. There's there's just this worldwide thing of religion and it's just being blown up used in different ways and then people who are not believing in anything uh, are looked up, down upon and he's just explaining how weird that actually is and how how people actually don't know the definition of certain words what does an atheist mean what does science mean for example as he said oh you're close-minded no no what a science is <laughs> the most open-minded thing in the world to say so because you need to think out of the box you need to look for something to you know prove something or as he said not prove something um, it is it is such a sensitive topic for so many people and this is also the reason why I wanted to make this video because I want people to stop asking because it's not relevant it isn't it really isn't and I agree with a lot of things said in this video um it doesn't mean that i agree completely with everything but i said a lot the next time you're wondering what religion or what i am you just fill in that you know question with the information i told you and gave you in this video and then you can interpret it in your own way just like you can interpret a religion your own way i hope you guys liked the video if you did leave a like down below subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in the next video ciao perfect